Welcome to WebStarBrush. In this WordPress WooCommerce tutorial, we are looking into how can we add custom fields, edit fields, hide fields, and reorder fields from checkout page. We can edit billing, shipping, or additional fields, sections, and checkout page very easily. From shop, let's go to checkout. And these are checkout fields. First name, last name, company optional, country, street address town city state country zip phone email address and additional information these fields are for billing section and for additional information reorder remove or change the field type of woocommerce core fields in the plugin that i'm going to display allowed field types are text text area password radio checkbox select country state multi-select multi-checkbox heading color picker and file uploader we can also apply conditions to check out fields so from plugins add a new plugin search for checkout field manager and here we can see woocommerce checkout field manager Flexible checkout fields for WooCommerce, checkout field manager, checkout manager for WooCommerce, checkout field editor, checkout manager for WooCommerce, checkout field editor and manager for WooCommerce, and there are more. So we have got some alternative as well, but the plugin that we are going to test today is this one checkout field manager checkout manager for woocommerce after it's installed go to woocommerce settings and then checkout tab here we've got settings related to checkout billing shipping additional order email advanced and more there are few features specific to pro version i will show you what free version can do for example in the checkout we can force shipping address force create an account remove order notes and more let's try this force shipping address save changes we have got billing section here reload and now we have got billing section we have got shipping area or shipping section and then additional information let's go to billing settings fields for the billing area are listed here like first name last name company name country region street address apartment town city state country zip phone and email address we can make any of these mandatory. You can see this toggle button for required. It makes field required or not required. We can make these fields float to left, right, or make them full width by this position option. Like we can select left, right, or wide. Wide is for 100% width. If this field is left aligned, this is right aligned and this is wide field we can move these fields up or down like let's make this field go upwards phone and email address and let's make the first name and last name wide save and also let's change the label like for this first name edit your first name save close save changes reload and as you can see this label has been changed and last name is wide now let's make first name wide as well save changes reload 
So these two fields are wide now. And phone and email address fields have been reordered. These were at the bottom. But now these are here. Let's make this not mandatory. Phone not required. Save changes. And now this is optional. We can also add a new field by using this button. We've got many field types like text, heading, email, phone, text area. Let's select checkbox. For label, let's choose custom design. We can also apply custom class, extra class for this field if we need. Save close here we've got this field save changes let's add another new field for this time let's choose file for label design file button title upload design save close Save changes, reload, and here for the billing area, we've got this custom design optional and design file and upload design. If we'll click this button, it will allow us to upload a file. Let's apply condition like if we check this custom design then this button should appear. For that, we will edit file field, select its parent, custom design that is checkbox, and if its value will be yes, then show this field. Show field if parent has this value, yes. And this is the parent, custom design that was a checkbox. Save, close, save changes, reload. It wasn't applied. There is something wrong with this. Okay, so custom design. Edit. Yeah, it is custom design. We'll have to activate this conditional field by checking this checkbox as well. Save, close, save changes. Reload page. And here now, if we'll click this checkbox, then this upload design button will appear. So we customized this area. Billing section, fields for this billing section. Similarly, we have got this shipping area. We can edit these fields as well. We can edit fields here for the additional information by going to shipping link so for shipping area same settings are present we can customize shipping fields from here and in the additional we can add new fields to additional area and so on also we can hide any of these fields as well let's say if we want to hide this company name we will edit this field and as you can see for display these options are for pro version but what we can do we can apply an extra class here right and then we can use display none for that class in our CSS file to hide that specific field it's that easy in free version or use jQuery remove function to remove that element by targeting same class that we'll choose here all in all, this is a good plugin. Give it a go if you want to customize checkout fields in WordPress. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.